we're going to work with the Mother Earth Force. Okay? And it's the most important power that we will work with. And the, um, the Earth Force is where we are staying for. Okay? And the most important part about the Earth Force is that now I think that there are, can be proved that there are 100... Now we know that the nine planets with the only planets, okay, that are sub uh, suitable to sustain life, support life. There's only one. Now, in some saying, and even the Tao talking about, in our galaxy, that means uh, 200 billion uh, star. The Earth is the only one. So that is quite a big number. Okay? Now, the other theory is this. Um, the Earth to us seem like they are alive. So all the galaxy or star here actually sending energy to the Earth, okay? So, um, so it's sending the energy f from the universe into the Earth, okay? And the Earth converted. The Earth converted. And it supp uh, supply us with life force, okay? That's how it worked that way, okay? So that is the, um, the Earth. Okay, so I, I just want you to know that the Mother Earth have the same frequency with uh, the cells, good frequency. So we call it Schumann resonance. Okay, a Schumann resonance means a vibration of it hurts. Now, when we feel joy and happiness, joy and happiness, they have the same frequency of it hurts. When we feel arousal or orgasm, another word we say, life essence. We call Jing Qi, the life essence. Also have it hurts. Okay. So this tree is very important. So when you started with love, joy, happiness, you started to generate out a frequency of eight hertz. When you're smiling to your sexual organ and you feel the arousal orgasm, we call our life essence. Also generate out eight hertz. Okay, so it's the two it hurts. Now, when we have this it hurts, it will trigger out the earth. That means we can receive. Actually, we, we don't have to do anything. <laughs> we receive it already. Okay? But when we don't tune ourselves into it, I mean, if you're very angry, very hatred, it not it hurts. It may be three. It may be seven. It may be fourteen. We is not tuning into it hurts, and we are hard to tuning together with the earth. It hurts. Now, what the it hurts do to us? Now, the scientific discovered that. When we feel love, feel joy, feel arousal, orgasm, the eight hertz synchronize with the earth, and we have a lot of energy and power, and healing power. And this frequency will trigger out the pineal gland, and the pineal gland, the frequency actually trigger out the, all the cells that want to split. They will start to split in a proper 
cells, proper frequency. Okay. What mean by proper frequency? That means eight hertz. Now, if we don't have eight hertz, the cells still have to split. Have to split. But it split under what? Very bad condition. When the cells split in a very bad condition, what happened? We have a very bad structure of cells, and they discover that this kind of cells will turn to cancer cells. Sick cells, tumor cells, and it's not very good cells. Okay. Now, so in the in the practice that I doing here, we want if you want a good health, you have to go right into this first. You go right into this. That means when they split. You see, when you when you start by giving them a good frequency, and the cell started to split out, and it's also took out the pineal gland, and it creating a pineal line. Pineal line come up from the pineal gland, mean uh, alkaline, and make the cell. Uh, when the pineal line come out, it make the cell more connectivity. That means they have more connection. Okay. The brain have only one uh, one front and back, but when you are when people develop it, you have synapses, so you have connection more. So one cell can have four, can have six, can have have twelve connection. Normally we only have one by one. That's it. So the information it go back and forth, but in this way information it go many times. That is the connection. And that is a pinna line doing that, make the cell more conductivity, more connection. And that come from the eight hertz of the heart, sexual energy, and the earth. Okay. So if we learn how to in touch with the earth, and we bring the earth force up. Okay. Now uh, they discover that the earth. Can do number one, the earth can do, okay. And that is the um, the earth can do. Number one, the earth can come in and combine bow earth energy, bow with all the sick energy, okay. And after that, you bring them down, okay. So the earth, earth has tremendous power there. Because it sustains our life, so um, all the other planet give all the energy to the Earth, and that's what in the uh, in the middle of 60, when the church said, the Earth is the center of the universe. It's right. <laughs> um, the way that they think is right because the Tao also said that. Our Earth, but in a different way. Our Earth is the center energy of the universe. Why? Because all the other planet and star send energy to us, and the Earth convert it and give us energy. So it's the center of it, right? But what they mean? They mean they sit here and they look out. They see every star are moving around us, <laughs> so they think that we are the center of the universe. <laughs> you know? But actually, we are only a tiny little peanuts floating in the space. You know? compared to the other one, is we just tiny little thing. In the universe around us, there are many spin. Yes. There are many spin. Okay. Now, for me, in the center, I spinning like this. Okay, that's one spin, and there's one spin. Go in and I spin like this. Okay, now that is the Earth spin. The Earth spin like this. It spin and it move. Okay, so in the center I spin like this. Now, sometimes I feel it want to spin like this. I spin like this. Okay, that is another planet or star spinning. Okay, and the orbit. 
the orbit is the sun, uh, the earth spin like this. Okay, so the first spin is the earth spin. Is we are standing on the earth, so earth spin like this. Um, one thousand miles per hour. Okay, there's the earth spin going like that and spin like this. One thousand miles per hour. Now the orbit spin is go like this. Okay. But in my orbit spin, it spin like this. Down, up, go like this. The orbit spin. Okay. Now, you also have uh, uh, this spin. You're collecting energy. Okay. Now, at the, at the moment, around me, there are many different spin. There are many different spin. Some of the stars spinning clockwise. Some of the stars spinning counterclockwise. Some of the stars spinning oval, like this. Some of the stars spinning like the like the uh, a comet. It goes this way. It's a big orbit, very big orbit. Okay, the comet. But just around me, there are many different spin. So that's why. When I pick up any spin, I just, I just spin it. But a fixed spin we have here is this spinning, this spinning, and this spinning, okay, and this spinning. Okay, and we have, if I look up on the top of me, it's spinning this way. In below, it's spinning this way. So there are many different spins. Because right around me, it's affected by many spin. Yeah. Okay. And there are many different spin in the practice. The eye, you have the eye, this spin. Your eye, this spin. You have the eye, this spin. Your eye, this spin. So there are many this spin. So everything is spinning, that's it. Let it spin and let it spin. <laughs> okay. You go in and let it spin. You want that way? Okay. This way. No. This way. Okay. No. This way. Okay. Let it spin. You learn a different spin and you just go with the spin. Because when the sun takes us to one area, you might affect it by one spin very strong. And I sometimes I just I cannot do this. And you want to go this. Sometimes I just sitting there, it started to move. I just let it spin. Mm-hmm. You, you will say, go with the flow. Because the earth and the sun take us to one area and you have a lot of different spin. So we go with the flow. Okay, I always start with the earth spin. I always start with the earth spin. And if we want to change it, that means the earth, uh, some energy up, up there uh, changes me, I follow it. That's all. So sometimes I spin, oh, very good, nothing in one with me, I keep on spinning with the earth. Okay? And suddenly, no, I want to spin this way, okay, go. <laughs> so uh, sometimes, one orbit of the sun around the North Star is 200 million years. Very big. They never, never any day are the same. Never any years are the same. But we have the same fix. The moon spin out the earth fix. The earth spin out the sun fix. You see? These two things is quite fixed. I mean, we don't know when it's going to change. You know, when they change the calendar. <laughs> when they change. But it's been fixed for a long time. Okay? Until the North Star changes, we have to recalculate all the machine too. All everything and the direction and the spinning. But it's still, it's still here. I mean, everything is still here. So it's not a disaster of the earth. And um, so the moon spin around us is the oldest calendar. We call moon calendar. We understand it more out. And they started with the, sun, uh, the earth spin around the sun. So we have sun calendar. It's fixed. But we don't have the sun 
and the North Star calendar, because that's too too long ago. It takes so long. One orbit of the sun spinning around the because we have the spin of the edge. Of, we are in the outer edge, so it spin on the outer edge of the the galaxy. It takes about 200 million years. That is very long. But with this, you understand that this this big, okay. Now the moon and Earth this big, okay. The moon and the Earth this big. Now, the moon, the Earth, the planet, and the sun is one group. And now the sun spinning, take us and spinning in this orbit, like this, okay. It takes 200 million years, but it's telling us the energy changes every day because we don't have a constant one now. I mean, yes, we have it, but 200 million years. We cannot figure out. We cannot figure out what is constant and what is not constant. The moon is constant. 29 and a half day. 28 and a half day. 29, yeah. 29 and a half day. It's one lap, so approximately. The Earth spin around the sun is 364 and a half day. So it's more exact than the moon. The moon is 29 and a half. So someday you have 30, someday you have 31, and some in one month. One, we have to be push it out. One, one month, we have 28. And the other year, we have 29. So the timing is different because the spin, you see. So now, to understand, only what you want, I want you to understand is that when the sun takes us, every day it goes into a different part, area of the universe. And we never explain them the same, same day. We never explain the same day. So there is another energy on the top here that changes every day. The energy of the moon to the earth is fixed. The energy from the sun to the earth is fixed. That's it. But from the sun to the big galaxy, it changes. So every day we go through a different energy and different spin and different part of the universe. So you put your hand very down, deep down from the heart. I, my heart power extended down to the earth. Now, think about your soul or the feet, your soul, and feel the earth energy coming up. Now, we come up and coming up. You just guide, think, think you guide the earth energy, come up to your soul and go in into your bone all the way coming up. See the earth energy combined with your sickness, combined with your emotional and your negative and your bad fortune. See them combined. When your hand come up to the head, turn and just relax, relax, let go, let go all your negative, let go all your sickness, let go all your bad fortune, all the way down, 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 to the ground, and slowly, and dig a hole, and bury them. And tell that no energy, stay, don't come back. Very important. 
Sick energy, sometimes they know the way. And they always, you don't put them very deep and bury them very deep, they come back to you again. Okay, they know the way, you know. In touch with the force. And coming up again. Very slowly, see, feel, experience the earth energy entering in you, and see them combine with your sickness, with your negative energy, with the bad fortune. Bring it up, bring up. Turn. And coming down, relax, let go. Let go all your negative, let go all your sickness, let go all your bad fortune. And let it flow down all the way down, down, down to the ground. Smile. Really feel get out of your body. Earth energy have a very powerful to combine with those things and bring them down back to the earth again. <clears throat> Dig a hole and bury them. Give the command Stay. Don't come back. In touch, your finger in touch with the earth force. Your soul in touch with the earth force. Feel the energy coming up to you. And guide them up again. Really feel that come up to yourself, to your body. Numb, tingling, electricity coming up. Relax, let go. <clears throat> let go all your sickness. Very important about let go. Relax, let go. Let go your sickness. Let's go your negative. Let's go all your bad fortune. And all the way down to the ground. So do it yourself three more times. Really feel you in touch with the earth and really let go your sick energy. If you can feel that, you can do it. You can help other people.
and rest.